Hello and welcome back to the hunt of Call of the Wild. It's been a while since we've had a hunt and since we've uh, been out and explored here. So I figured it's time we jump on it. I've had a few uh, messages and comments asking when is when is hunting coming back and when are we going to be doing some more of it. People have enjoyed what was out there. I've I've been away from hunting for a while now, focused on some other things and time has been quite a restraint. But I've got a bit of time this evening so uh, I figured we'll, we'll hop back on what we were doing. Uh, we're gonna break in with some easy things we were going around and unlocking and doing the story missions so we're going to continue with that and we've got one for connor's and it's lost right in and we've got to travel to the norden hiking cabins we're starting in norden at our fast travel point anyway uh, we've got steph in tow she's running off gone mental we do have some other some other story to jobs as well. Should I call them contracts? Where we call them contracts? I'm not sure, but tasks, count contracts, that sort of thing. So we'll see if we can get this done, what this leads to, and if not, I know where I want to go next to try and tackle some more that we've already started. So uh, yeah, let's crack on with it. If we find anything along the way, we'll try and have a little hunt. It's a shame that I've not got my uh, Binox ready because we need to spot I think three or four different furs on bears. So I'm not sure what we can get here. Where are you, girl? She's going to stand for me again. We'll take a shot. This will be our first shot in about nine months trying to take out a bear. The bear didn't really present much for us, so I've, I've left her be. She was only a minor two anyway, so not really uh, worth too much of our time but she's there if we do come across anything worth our, worth our bullets then uh, we'll consider going in for it that's her tracks I doubt we'll find much out through the woods unless we catch something having a rest or eating I think time wise I think it's about 8 o'clock some sort of early morning rests we might find a coyote out here I think maybe or on, on a feed I don't know there's a few things we could find early morning feed maybe some late white tail or or maybe um a black tail they, they rest between eight and eight and midday i think something like that got a male bear giving us a call and there we go that was our fur anyway so we've completed a challenge from dot how are you mate what are you doing well that's our three different Black. He looks quite blonde, doesn't he? Unless that was just a bit of the, f the foliage. He's going to have a run now. Uh, not quite sure what we were zeroed in at, so our first shot might be a bit of a disaster. I say it's been been a while since we've had a hunt. Anything could happen. Oh no, we got a vital. Can't grumble at that. Where have we gone? Oh, you know what we need to do? If I can remember how to do it. How do we get how do we get the dog to sniff stuff? I forget what you do. Never mind. I'll I'll, I'll remember in time. Forget the dog's controls. I'll look into them. <laughs> to be fair, oh it's right in front anyway. Oh, who are you? Black tail giving us a warning call. I'll never get these missions done, I tell you, because I'll just get distracted by things calling me. So let's see what we get. It's a silver. It's a dark fur type. He looks quite blondy. I guess it was ready and then the, the foliage. But yeah, we'll take that. We need some money as well, so we'll take the cash. Definitely. But he's, uh, yeah, he's all right. He'll do. Right, let's uh, head on back out and get to this jobby. As we were stomping through the woods, we did get a couple of calls from some male black, black-tailed deer that were giving us a good warning away. So I thought I'd just quickly come in. We've marked up. Oh, we've got Roosevelt here, but I think the Roosevelt and the black tail are drinking up out of the same spot. That's quite often how it is. So they're around here, still uh, giving us warnings. We'll try and uh, just do a quick lap of this lake. I'm just going to try and grab what I can. Uh, 
track wise see if I can secure any more drink zones for them because I, I quite like black tail hunting whether they were drinking or rest there they go look we've got a load of them are they stuck are you stuck we'll take a stuck one no just a bit stupid I think I do need the money. Don't normally condone that sort of thing. But if they're just going to get stuck, then they have to get slaughtered, I'm afraid. You're bleeding out, you'll be fine. But we'll only take the three, because wherever they are, we don't want to wipe their zone. So we'll just have that. Easy money. Nothing of size. It's only a baby one. There you go. But yeah, thank you very much. I'll let you uh, do your thing, gal. Again, creeping through the woods on my way to the Norden outpost cabin or whatever it is they want us to go to. We did come across some more blacktail just out there. Having a snooze. Wherever they've gone, there they be. Just small ones. We're going to let them be. They don't want to worry ourselves with that at the minute. But there's some more that are marked up that are on the map. When I want to go blacktail hunting, keep them on. rabbit for dinner and a gold as well so that's nice to have how far off were we well, some way off we don't do a lot of rabbit hunting just on, just on the fly i'm gonna save him and we'll have a little look later on to see what he's uh he's worth putting in the shed <laughs> right we're still trying to make our way to this camp but just as we come in we also have more black tail there's an abundance of black tail and roosevelt out here resting Beaten. So, South Norden is the spot. So yeah, I think this is a one of those basic track follow jobbies. So we'll uh, do. There they are. Do. Her tracks. Follow them back and see if you find anything. Can we open up? We can't. Right. So we are literally just following these tracks, and we're going to get get teased by Blacktail. We'll just trigger this as well. So that will give us some XP. Uh, Firewatch. I'll leave it up there for those who want to read it. You can uh, pause it if you need to. So let's follow these tracks. We'll not worry about scaring anything around the woods. It's difficult to find stuff. So we'll just follow these. This is where we'll uh, go stomping past our diamond black tail or something. Scare him off for good. I thought we were going to just get here and pick up the notes, but we got to go looking for them. Could have at least had the challenge of actually having to look for them, though. So it's the single black tail. That's the black tail footprints we want here. The human. You footprints. found it. Emily oh, will be glad to hear her riding is safe and sound. Why don't you leave it at the tower and she'll pick it up on her next watch. Okay, so we've got to go and drop it off at a tower. Let's just consult the map. At a lookout tower. So, any lookout tower? Where's our closest? Back that way. Okay. Well, as I was having a little wander through, I thought there's two little lakes down here. One here, one there. We'll uh, see if there's any prints around, and we've got some uh, Roosevelt drinks, so that's pretty handy. It looks quite a sizable herd as well, so they've only just sort of left. That might be the herd that I kept walking around as I was making my way through, because we sort of came from that direction anyway. But yeah, this is uh, quite a lot of markers down here. They all say six, but I think there's 
going to be more than six. I think there's maybe two herds of six there. That's a lot, a lot of footprints, a lot of markers. And they are all for Rosie. Oh, but we got that marked up for Rosies later. Yeah, it's just, uh, just uh, the the northern log cabins are just up there, so that's sort of where we've come from. And we're heading over there. So we're finally at Northern Western Lookout Tower. I'm hoping we're just going to sort of head in there and drop this book off. I'm not quite sure how it works, because you could have gone to any Lookout Tower. It didn't sort of give us a specific one, so whether it's just going to trigger as we've delivered it as we Thanks a lot. There uh, it is, notebook just like that. means the world to her. So, has Tramp Fine mentioned Mr. Black yet? Yeah, that's what he calls his favorite black bear. Well, apparently Mr. Black wants his picture taken, or so Tramp Fine tells me. He says that Mr. Black's been hanging out around Belmont Lake recently, so that'd be the first place to start looking. Yeah, don't ask me. I can't really figure Jonathan out, but I know he'll pay for it, and it'll make him happy. So if you're up for it, go ahead. Now, once you find Mr. Black, be careful. Tramp Fine foolishly approaches these animals as if they were kittens. But let me assure you, they're anything but. I assume he's finished talking. Um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll probably go, go off and do bears at another time because I was hoping to try and get some white tail. We have a jolly. Is it South Lake? 30 meters. I text someone's going to get shot. We've been followed the whole time we've been doing this. Uh, yeah, South Lake, 30 meters. And we've got a spot, but it requires it to be about four in the morning. So we might have to do a little bit of time travel. Is that that black tail again? They've been about. So uh, I'll get myself in position. We'll head to South Lake, which is actually just down here. But I want to be sort of over there is where I want to be. So uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see you over there unless I find something along the way. Found one of my old friends. I think they all missed. We'll see. Oh well, it looks like we've got a shot in. No vital on that one. Was that the first? May well have been. So it's gone down. We'll... Uh, We'll get the dog to track. She likes to do that. Yeah, I don't think I got two hits in on it, but it's gone down. It's gone down. We'll take it. It's probably a gut shot or something like that. Oh, it's just too naughty out here, isn't it? Everything's just. <laughs> God, I forget how tempting it is to just go out here and go gun ho. Let's have a little look. Can't see anything through the trees. Steffi's found it. This is more for the money as well, anyway. We need some money. We've got an expensive gun we need to buy at some point. So it's just a bronze. It would have been short. It wouldn't have been a gold anyway. It would have been silver. It would have been a decent silver. But where was the shot? Oh, yeah, right in the guts. Shot it in the bum. So it was the second shot that got it. The first shot missed. Okay, well, accept that. Thank you very much. That's another thousand. So we've made our way over to High Lake Southern Outpost because it's the closest outpost to where we want to be on South Lake. And we've got, got a bit of a walk. It's now three o'clock in the morning. The, the white tail should turn up after four so a four and eight uh feeding time so hopefully by the time we get there we'll have time to settle in and, and wait for them to turn up so yeah that's uh that's hopefully gonna work out well for us put a light on so we can see what we're doing you can keep your light on all you want I think I've covered this before in in uh, in hunts, but it's a bit of a myth that if you have your light on, it scares the animals away. It doesn't. 
So we're now approaching South Lake. And our little outpost, not our outpost, our little blind should be just over the uh, the tree ridge here. That That is where I'm hoping our whitetail are going to be grazing. See, just in the South Lake. See how close in the South Lake it is. If I open the map here, you'll see it's right on the border. This massive bit of water, we, I've walked that so many times and not once has a white tail been drinking there. We've got moose about. Now we have white tail, Roosevelt, and rabbits, I think, all feed on that area. So we just we just want the uh, the white tail. Now it's half past three, so we've got a bit of a wait, but hopefully. Hopefully something will turn up in time. I'll, I'll do the waiting. I won't make you guys do it. Now where's the dog? Because... Are you in? And I want you to sit. I want you to stay. Sit your ass down. Right, I'm going to get in here. And uh, I shall wait to see uh, if anything turns up and hopefully comes within 30 metres. Because the grazing area is just down there at 22 metres. So hopefully something is going to turn up. So it's now about quarter past four. So we're just waiting with bated breath to see what wanders into our kill zone. Hopefully, some white tail are on their way. There's at least a rabbit if we get bored. Along with Peter, we've got Flopsy and Cottontail. Well, it's now five o'clock and quick fire target practice on the rabbits is starting to feel quite tempting. No white tail about yet. He says as one rolls in, hello, sir. Where are you going to go? Can I tempt you in a little bit closer? Here comes some more. He's got a nice rack, hasn't he? Not quite a gold dog, according to that. 213. Oh, how about you? You could be. Not gold, I mean diamond. You could be diamond, mate. Look at you. How close are you guys coming in? Just need to stay calm and relaxed. Let them come in as close as they can. And then we'll try and call them a little bit as well. He's not moved. Are you saying they can smell me? They better not be able to smell me. That's naughty if they can smell me. I've got my scent spray on and everything. We'll top it up. Is she within the 30? She's not. annoying that they're alerted. I mean, I know my cone is sort of aiming that way. That's sort of typical how it works, but I think he spawned in there and got stuck. I think if I get out of the blind, I scare them as well, and I'm not sure. The dog may even be... I don't want to blame the dog. Lay down. <laughs> oh, she's moving. She's moving. How far away are you? In range, in you go. I'm sure it's only. Oh, it's not quite close enough. Not quite close enough. How is that not close enough? That has to be close enough.
How did that not hit? Oh, so I said 150. Oh my god. <laughs> oh dear. Even the uh, the step one's just gone. <laughs> we shot miles over. All that anticipation. <laughs> Rabbits didn't run off though. Oh my lord. Yeah. Zeroed in. <laughs> Way too far. There. Amateur hour, I tell you. Well, after that failed out, and we've uh, travelled back to Beaumont, and uh, that's where we're going to end today's <laughs> somewhat failed hunt. A few little random kills, a little story job done, but but nothing overly exciting. As if as if I waited all that time and then missed my shot. But next time out, because it's going to be a new day, we're going to head out to uh, in Beaumont. Uh, we've got to go to Hope's camp, and we've got a rector blind there, and then try and hunt something from his blind. We'll make sure we're zeroed in at short range on that. We'll see how that goes. And then as night falls, we'll make our way back up to South Lake and we'll try and catch something in the morning up there or we'll see what else is going on on the on the map. But hopefully you've enjoyed that. If you did, give it a fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. I know I'm crap. I'm just having fun with it. Uh, you guys have a wonderful day and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.